You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? We're trying to evaluate a polynomial. Oh boy! Here I have a second degree trinomial with those coefficients and they want me to evaluate it at x is equal to 6. So what do I do? I plug it in, plug it in. Mine has x is equal to 9. Just hush up and let it happen. We're trying to make a quickie. So what do I do? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stick it in everywhere I see an X. Yes, there's an X, there's an X, and then no more. So I go and I'm looking at a two times, wait for it, six, and it's that six being squared, not the two, just the six, cause the square is on that X, you see? All right, so there I go. And I need to subtract off that four, and then I see my six is all green. Oh, envy. And here I see, I'm gonna add that for sure. Now, it's order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, but what did she do? She did the exponents before she did any of that other stuff. So we explore, that's that two times that weight. That six times six is a 36, six. So I go and I'm gonna carry on. Let me go on. I'm still gonna multiply by that six, but I was just doing one operation at a time. Excuse me, sir, are you a doctor? I'll take a look at it. All right, so this is um, two times 36 gonna get me um, 72 Ooh, on a good day. Minus four times a six is a minus 24, sure. And then what did that four do? Nothing, it just came on down. All right, now, could you bring it down a notch? Oh, I will bring it down a notch, but multiplication, addition, oh, no, they're all commutative, so. And um, I'm just gonna associate these two together first. Why? Because it's nice on my numbers and it's easier on the eyes. So I go and this is a 72 and now that, um, yeah, minus 20. Cause that's 24 minus four, but the 24 has the bigger sign. So we associate the minus sign with that. Now we're gonna take this down a notch cause 72 minus 20. Okay, Google, what's 72 minus 20? Are you? 72 minus 20 is 52. Thank you. Yeah, bucks and flowers. Nah. I wish I had cards to just throw them. Pick them up!